If you want to remember something, write it down. And we see this example given by God directly in this week's Parsha Titzavet. This week's Parsha talks mostly about the vestments of the Kohanim, and we can see that there's two places that God chooses to write down the names of the tribes. The first is on the stones that are on the shoulder straps of the Kohen Gadol's apron, and the second are on the breastplate. Of on each stone on the shoulder, the names of the tribes are inscribed, plus each tribe gets their own stone on the breastplate. So I think that there's a really important lesson here, and I want to turn it into how we can actualize this in real life. The first is, is if you want to remember something and something is important to you, write it down. But you can't just write it anywhere. It has to be someplace important. It can't just be a collection of scrap paper all over your house, right? It has to be someplace where you will look at it and see it, because that is the point. The Kohen all puts these garments on, he looks at them and he sees them, and then he remembers and God remembers, right? I was looking around to see if I could find any explanation about why it's written twice. Why is it here on the shoulder straps and on the breastplate? And I couldn't find anything specific, so I'm just gonna posit my idea here. In actuality, when we wanna try to remember something and execute that, it's important actually to do it twice. And this is how I personally implement doing things. The first thing is, is I get my ideas out of my head. I write them in a notebook. I don't have a million scraps all over my house. I just have one notebook where I write everything. And it's not that pretty. It's just a regular spiral notebook that I just write my thoughts in. You know, I have to do this, 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 and this, and they all get put there. But then I have a second place where I put things and that's in my calendar. So once I know all the things that I have to do and I just get them out of my head, I can look at them and see how I'm gonna execute this, how I'm gonna put this into practice, how I'm gonna get these things done. At first I thought it was like, well, why would you write it down twice, right? Like, what is the point of having it here on the shoulder straps and on the breastplate? And I think that it really has to do with execution. How do we make this happen? Because the stones on the shoulders and the stones on the breastplate have two different functions. And it's the same thing with how we write down our to-do list and how we execute it on our calendar. They have two different functions. The first function is to get it out of our brain so that we can look at it and see a specific place that we can remember it. And then the second thing is to do is to figure out when we're gonna do it, right? And put it down in that place so we remember when to do it. So the takeaway for me from this week's Parsha is just write it down because when you get it out of your head and you can look at it in a different way and you don't have to remember it and you can just see it, it makes it easier to actually execute what you need to do. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom. I'm Israel Chai.